baby. What, what? <laughs> Jesus Christmas. I got these balloons for my birthday, man. Oh, poor you. <laughs> my God. What's up, everybody? What's going on? Hey, happy what? birthday, Otto. Hey, Otto's big birthday. Big bir I am officially older than the Dark Lord of the Sith TiVo at this point. I am the Elder Statesman. What is up, everybody? Welcome to Three Men in the Basement. This is Otto's birthday spectacular. I uh, can't wait to talk about this. We've got trivia. We've got so many people coming in the show tonight. Um, it's just going to be a great show tonight. Rod, what's up with you, man? How are you tonight? What's going on, man? Hey, I'm I'm looking forward to a fun night as well, celebrating the big guy over there. His big 50. Five some, old, man. Five some, old. some will say you you look younger than me, and to those people, I say, fuck you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I am three years Everybody younger than Adam. Than That's true. That's true. Um, but uh, I'm excited, and I'm happy to have the very Dave announced. Yeah, so we not only do we, we are three better in the basement tonight, but we have with Loki going on, we have Variant Dave, which is so ironic because <laughs> Variant Dave is a Spider Man fan. His name is Dave, and he's part of three MIB. So Variant yeah, I'm in Dave. the basement. Yes, exactly. So my God. So how are you surviving this timeline, man? What 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 happened? How did you end up here? You know what? I blacked out and I woke <laughs> up and here I was. Look at that. Look at that really, man. I have no idea. I'm hoping you that. guys will explain everything to me. <laughs> Throughout the show, no, we can't explain anything, dude. We're yeah. day one. You're, you're talking yeah. to the wrong guys about explaining anything. <laughs> we we just had Doug Bratton on, and he just dropped the uh, what you call it up by like fifty points just hanging out with us. Yeah, you know? trying to smarter. My my IQ went up fifty points just talking yeah. to the guy. Look wow. at this, right off the right off the dude, rip, unexpected dude. man. Thank Alex you, Garcia, dude. the illustrator to the stars, man. What's up to my friends in the East? Wishing Otto a glorious fiftieth. Keep drinking and hopefully see more of those karate chops. Much That's right. Respect. We got lots of stuff coming back, man. Hey, Alex, we really appreciate that. We appreciate you, as usual, for everything you've done for us and our channel, making us look uh, fresh and clean in our new debut at the beginning of the year. How about we're going to show him the money, right? Yeah, that's it. Show it. Hey, I got Bob Sugar on the other line. I'm going to hear you say it. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Show you the money. Not, not so you. Show, show me the money. Show me the money. Yes. Louder! Show me the money! That's it, brother! But you got to yell that shit! Show me the money! I need to feel you, Jerry! Show me the money! Jerry, you better yell! Show me the money! Show me the money! Dude, I love it. I love it, man. I think you, Alex. Enough, man. Appreciate you, Alex. Thank you very much, man. No, thank you so much, right Alex. Here. Alex drew this. Yeah, he did. She drew everything. My God, I like that guy. I like that guy, and it's so funny. Like when I say highlight now, I end up saying highlight that guy. It's yeah, like part of I, my vocabulary. I get that a lot from people. Is you know whether I'm on their channel or talking to me, it's like if you've ever seen the clip, you can't say it without doing that. Yeah, right. No, for sure, for sure. So, man, we, we were late. I apologize. All Otto's fault. Be honest to God, believe it yeah. or not, it was all Otto's fault. But I'm sure they believe it. Yeah, no, they do. Of course, they do, and they know it too. So, uh, it wouldn't be yeah. a, it wouldn't be a live it wouldn't be a three man live stream if you guys didn't show up late. So, Le of course, of course, with like I just want to tell you, my pool just exploded on me. My mic wasn't working. It's oh, your pool. It's crazy. We got to well, use that tomorrow. What yeah, we good do. We have a big party coming on. So, I anybody know. on the East Coast, man, come up to Otto, 142 Rose Lee at Newington, Connecticut. Show up, man. The house is all always open. I know some of the IG people are coming up, so it's just going to be a great day. So, short box you know, burning in the house. Box. We let's see. Let's see what we got in the live chat here. Yeah, talk to we're us. We're gonna try and go through this quick, guys. We got a lot of stuff going on. We got some things to show, so we're gonna go through this first segment fairly quick, so we can get in some good stuff and some giveaways. But uh, so we got something Wong, Gene Mala. What's up, my Canadian brother, Gene Mo, Amy Nieves, all the way from East Jabru, Alaska, about as far north as you can go. BCJ, Vancouver Comic Junkie. What's up, brother? Wayne Watts, Happening House. Uh, TiVo, Lords of the Long Box in the House, oh, House of L Comics, Michael P. Captain Crunch. We have Copy 801, Dave Levesque, the brother. We have uh, let me see, Sith Lordly in the house. What's up, brother? Um, Michael P. House of L Comics said that, didn't they? Thomas Caps in the house, Chris nice. Emerald Knight. What's up, brother? No Good Comics. What's up, Justin? Thanks for joining us. Mike the Beast Benston from around the way. We have uh, Chimo, Victoria Pajak. Welcome, Victoria. Manuel Diaz in the house. We have Alex Garcia, illustrator, of course. Josh Grav, the man who's always first. Yeah, that guy beats uh, me all the time. It's, it's, it's meow, on, meow in the house. Big Lion Cat 646, what's up? Uh, let me see. 
we have short box Bernie in the house. All right. Short box Bernie. He'll show up tomorrow. He better be there. I know. Some people I'm expecting to see. Squared Circle, what's up, BX? What's going on with you? Thanks for joining us. We have Gene Malo again, just because he's from Canada. <laughs> George Deep, what's going on, brother? It was great meeting you at our swap. Now you're getting a taste. He's getting a table at the uh, at the uh, terrific con. Hopefully, uh, you yes. get a lot of traffic. Are you able to do some cool stuff there? Right. I mean, probably get a drawing from him, a commission from him. Yep. Flame Rain, Peter Porker, oh, man, Wolf Blitz, Back Issue Pauly. I love that name. We have I don't know if I missed skipped on me. Wayne Watts, Arrow Maestro, four eleven. Right? Is that from the nine nine eleven? The nine. Yeah. There you yeah. go. Uh, something wrong. Keep your curly hairs to yourself, my brother. And if I miss somebody, I'm sorry. This thing's jumping around on me. Uh, just wolf blitz. I say that. Just, you know how you know how it goes. Say something in the chat. Keep the chat popping, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll highlight you. Answer any questions you got, or uh, you know, point out when you make fun of Everett for his birthday. You know, That's feel it. free. Feel free to do that for sure. Um. Yeah, uh, I we're about I'm about uh, 30 35 minutes from Quinnipiac University. Yeah, right on, Brady. On there a bunch of times to see uh, some hockey games with my son. So. Yeah. Oh, we going to give a shout out to Custodian Ken. Um, Custodian just, Ken just jumped on. Hey. Yeah. Good to see you, buddy. Hope you can stop by tomorrow. And we missed. We had a little five dollar super chat, man. Show him the bean. Where'd you Where'd see that? The, where's the bean? Let's go. We got it back here. Let me see. We missed it. Uh, I missed the five dollar super. Chat. You were very busy. You're very busy. Oh yeah, Wayne Watts. Here you go. Wayne Watts. There we go. All Show good the on the late arrival with age comes Matt Luck marathons. Hello, a happy birthday, man. Wayne Watts. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. So let's give him a little super goof. <laughs> A good one, Dave. That's a good salty one. too. Salty. And that's a peanut, not a bean, right? Yeah, a peanut, peanut, magic <laughs> peanut beans. You know, oh my god, one's real, one isn't ever. Yeah, well, hey, nothing's real. Hey, nothing's right. real. The fact that I turned 50, my god, that's not even real. But yeah. I do want to give a shout out to my boy Justin No Good Comics, my mutant brother, actually celebrates the birthday on the same day as me. So we both celebrated the day our the, birthday. The day the world stood still. The, no, that's right. The day the kid was born, six eight seventy one. The day the kid yeah. was born. So absolutely fantastic. So thank you very much, Jesus. It's a good time to see you, man. All right. So Raj, what do we got planned for tonight? I don't know. You got a little video you want to show. We want you want to show do, that now. Let's, so, let's let's drop that, and then we'll get into some pickups. You have some mystery boxes. Yep, absolutely. Yep, we're gonna fast forward through all this stuff. Right. So so you guys know that Otto. And the family are heading up to Wasilla, Alaska. And we are going to see our good friends, Amy and Lou. Um, and we can't wait. We're going to see Ages Comics of Alaska. They're doing the uh, Valley, the Alaska Valley Comic Con. And we've got a little update from them. And I want to show you guys what's going on there. And I can't wait for it. Um, they've got independent artists coming up. Lou did a whole show on it. I've got a little segment. But check out. They've got <laughs> raffles. It's going to be like you getting a stair lift, Dev? <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty I soon, man, it. pretty soon. So let me see if I can do this right. So I'm going to share my screen, uh, and so we're going to go here. That's right. Sith got it right there. Justin could be out of sun. And then we're going to go here. Let's go. We're going to go here. <laughs> All right, here we go. So Lou's got to tell us something. I got to hit play. You got to turn the volume up, brother. Okay. We can't hear nothing. Do you? No. No. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Let's see. Did you did you share the video or did you share your screen? I'm sharing my screen. All right. Share the. Is that a video? Or is it a file or is it? No, it's on YouTube. It's a tab. Oh. I don't Let's know see, what, what I'm doing hear. wrong. Can't hear it. Anyway. No. Ages Comics of Alaska is doing a con, and we're going to be up there. So it's it says when you when you share, you have to click share audio button. All right. Keyboard share screen. Uh, Chrome tab. I just closed it. So, oh, share. Oh, right. oh I got you. I got you. Hold on. Maybe, I, all maybe, right. I'll bring you back and do it. You take care of this. I'll take right. care of this. All right. You're going to take care of this? All right. Yep. So, you know what? I'm going to show some pickups, some recent pickups that I had um, while you're trying to figure that out. So, you want to do it or you have it ready? Yeah, do it. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I'll take all care right. of it. So, this. I got one slab here. 
and my my uh, my effort to get all nine point sixes and all the stuff that reminds me of my childhood. This is the first appearance of the triple changers. Transformers, like Transformers number twenty nine. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> Transformers number twenty nine. I figure, you know what? Everything in this world at a nine point eight is not affordable anymore. So I'm going for the nine sixes. I have a Transformers and nine six number one, Thundercats, all that good stuff. So, so I now this is a set of nine eights, right, Raj? No, no. That's what I just said. I'm picking up nine sixes. So the yep. last, this this triple changer is a nine six. I'm getting all those. You know, I want to get Voltron, all those things at nine sixes because you know what? I can't afford a nine eight. They're just they're just you can't touch them anymore. So these are from I think I might have gotten these from Frankie's. These are pretty cool, like cosplay, Star Wars cosplay. I always love these. A little Darth Maul action. This is the boys cry. I think this one was White Widow. First one. This is the boys cry. Another White Widow with the Mandalorian. And of course, my favorite, my Ahsoka. Oh, that's awesome! Another White Widow. That is Love cool the, right there. Why don't you be a little louder? Since, Get out of here. Uh, since um, you screwed me up there. Since uh, it was Star Wars, I got them. Of course, I added to my ASM three hundred collection. Well, Archie. Is that Veronica? I guess. I do. I do it better. I think. What do you think, Dave? <laughs> I think my love. I think I look better in my love one than she does. Yeah. This yeah, one came that positional. This, yeah, right. <laughs> This one came in today. I absolutely love this. Oh, look at this that. Is, this is uh, Wonder Girl. This is Comic Kingdom of Canada. Uh, variant Kendrick Lim is the artist. Absolutely beautiful. This I got from comicbookquest.com. You know, you know how much I feel about you know how I feel about Yara. It's hot right now. Yeah, hot. I love it. I love it. I'm gonna call these next books the ones that I'm reading. I haven't read this. This is this weekend's reading. Eve number one. Unfortunately, I took so long to read it. Two's already out. Hopefully, I don't have trouble getting it, but uh, I got both these covers. I hear Boom, Boom Studios, Raj? Yes, Boom Studios. I hear it's a good cover. Um, kind of like future age, futuristic age type thing. I don't know. Um, I don't know much about it other than everybody who read it said it was worth it. And then I picked these up, one through five with two number ones. Space Bastards. I picked these up thanks to Mr. Sith Lorley. I'm going to be reading these, and I think it's next Saturday. I'm going to be joining Spintix as we interview the creators of Space Bastards. So I got one oh, through wow. six here. Okay, those look and nice. then, yeah, and then uh, number uh, one through five, number six just came out, and I pre ordered that. So I should be getting that before we do the show as well. Um, so you just bought all those as one, one lot off five? Yeah, I, I, yeah, all five of them I bought off of eBay. This I have not shared live on this channel yet. Have you ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, that's right. Oh. My, there we go, baby. <laughs> I hear he's like coming. That. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I hear. That's why I bought it. We have got a great seen deal. Him. Bought this from uh, Mr. Forge, Matt, at the uh, one of the auctions a few Fridays ago or a few months ago. Yeah. Uh, probably a two and a half to a three, but that's great, it. glad to have that. What is uh what did uh, Doug Bratton say? Start low, go high, right? That's great right. move, right? That's right. Love it. So this is definitely my favorite pickup over the last week or two. Uh this is a commission done by Sketch Card Girl on oh, Instagram. Came in? Yeah, came in, came in fast. Because I didn't send it to CGC. Right. That's the problem. When I have a commission, if I were to submit it and it came back in 96, I would crack it. So it's I just know. not worth Agreed. it. For me. Agreed. So yep. I'm gonna put it in a mylar and put it in one of those top loaders. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. This oh was this was completely wow. blank. It, all it said was Star Wars on it. <clears throat> I told her I wanted Sabine and, and uh, uh, Ahsoka on it. Uh, she gave me some ideas. I said I love it. She gave me, and what's great about her is she gives you the uh, work in progress. So I saw like the sketch of the two of them. Then Sabine finished with Ahsoka sketch, and it wasn't until it was done that she showed me the final. And she she's not only reasonable; it was like 160 bucks for this. But wow. she like she did like she started it and then sent it to me and said, if this work in progress is good, send me the money now and I'll finish it. Right on. Okay. I mean, this is look at this thing. Look at the colors in there. Yeah, like crazy. I said, this was just a completely blank 
book other than the word Star Wars on it. So if anybody's thinking about having, you know, you know that uh, the Butcher got one from her that was Punisher, and they had one made for Guy Forge um, that was uh, uh, Gambit, and she freaking nailed it. And and I gotta say, my coworker had one made of his daughter and, and cosplay. I mean, it looks like a freaking picture. This woman does a phenomenal job. This is what she does for a living, so the commissions pay her bills. So if you ever interested sketch card girl on instagram is the one who did this i i could not be happier other than the fact that you know that part of me that says i wish it wasn't a nine eight slam <laughs> no but that's fine though so you take yeah. a top loader yeah, and put we'll one of the fantasy yeah. frames right exactly that's why i bought it i knew this was coming in yeah awesome the actual one so oh and one more one more set of things of course everybody knows and makes fun of the fact that i always say that i collect pint glasses so from a company called Funny Business, and my wife wasn't too happy about this, I got me a set. So here's the first one. Oh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> here's the second one. Nice. This is the 301, right? Look at that. Yep. And you can't have no, those three more? without the original. Jesus Christmas. Oh, my oh, God. Yeah. So he bought bought them from him as a set. He had them up there. I'm like, I need those in my life. He gave me what I thought was a reasonable price, and I bought them. Wife's not too happy, but <laughs> I'm very happy to have them. Now you so got more pie I, glasses. Yeah. What the hell? Yeah. I mean, what's more? You have a place to put them, right? It's not That's like right. A, <laughs> oh, yes, we inside each other nicely. Yeah. So very happy with all that stuff, and uh, that's all I got. Did you, did you figure this stuff out? I did. I did. I figured this out. I hope I can do this right. All right, here we go. So. Ages Comics of Alaska, Comic-Con. I'm going to be there with the family. Can't wait. Let's see if I can do this the right way. All right. Share screen. Window. Chrome. There we go. Here we go. Share audio. All right. Here we go. Here's Louie. Remember, you can always join up our Patreon to get those uh, discounts in store and on the website and for some awesome deals and some awesome exclusives our patreon so we appreciate that support and then always remember to like subscribe and share our videos so that people know about it so uh real quick we wanted to talk a little bit about some of the cool stuff that's going on uh some of the new updates for the uh show coming up so as you guys know it's the 26th and the 27th for our mini con the 26th and 27th at everett's and so we, excited it's gonna oh, be off the charts yeah it, it's our first like actual Comic Con in the Valley, correct me if I'm wrong. We we have like, you know, the Takai Takai Taikai Con. Uh, yeah. Taikai Con and stuff, but that's Taikai that's Con, not... Yuki Fest, Senshi Con and Anchorage. But that's all really more uh anime and manga manga. Sorry. Right, right. They're gonna they're gonna come through the door and get me if I call it manga again. Yeah. yeah. But... <laughs> but manga, which makes me laugh because I keep trying to explain to people in Spanish, manga means sleeve. Why would you name <clears throat> the book? of you know uh the, the the text version of one punch man or anything else uh, a sleeve but uh, whatever japanese people uh, i'm just trying to i'm just trying to let you know from puerto rico that uh, uh we're, we're a little confused i'm sure we confuse you with our salsa and merengue too so but yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey what's up mike michael ray photography speaking of which michael ray photography is going to be at comic con at our mini con he'll be the official photographer of the event his link is in the description below uh oh my man comic forge and them so uh some stuff that's coming up for instance we have we're gonna have a raffle we have more raffle prizes coming as we speak but let me show you some of the stuff that's going to be raffled at the show so we've got from Bifrost Bridge Studios, who's actually one of our sponsors as well. They are going to be providing. So they do these cool retro games, right? Yeah. Where yeah. they actually restore like Super <laughs> Nintendos and Playstations and stuff. And then they custom paint them. Oh, so man. that's what that is. So you see those two games up there, guys? That Neo Geo and that uh, uh, Nintendo PlayStation with the uh, uh, Link CL, I think. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Legend of Zelda. Legend of Zelda. Those will be available for raffle at oh, the show. I'm going to have to rig that one for uh, myself. Thank I'm you very you, much. I'm telling you. And then um, Black Birch is going to be providing uh, 
an item here as well. Black Birch will be providing, uh, she's this awesome veteran owned bookstore here out here. She's got a gift card, a soap grenade. Thank you, Larry Spaulding for liking the stream and a Black Birch exclusive t-shirt. Now, yeah, right now we have the that extra timeline. large. She, if, if you win and the size, uh, it's not your size. She said, just bring the shirt. And she'll switch it out for whatever size you actually are if you're not an extra large. So uh, she's awesome, man. Oh, that is so cool. And uh, the one thing I forgot, that, that, that was so awesome that you thought that was a bath bomb. I did. I <laughs> hoped it was a bath bomb. Man. Like, it's, yeah, that soap grenade is dope. I was carrying it like I thought it was a, a bath bomb until he said something. that like <clears throat> The soap smells phenomenal. Trust me, I had to help take the picture. Oh, I wanted it to be a bath bomb real bad. Yeah, no kidding. But yeah, so that uh, there's a gift card and everything else with that. And then, uh, as you guys know, the three men in the basement, uh, Otto is coming up uh, to the con and he's going to have the Otto mystery box. So, this Otto mystery box, we got to read through this here real quick. And uh, I actually have, I'm somewhat organized here. We actually have a, a little write up of what's in there. So, the prizes include a Wolverine. Uh, one, two, three, and two sets, an X-Men, uh, an X-Men 4 near mint, Ooh. an X-Men 222, an ASM 363, both a direct edition and a newsstand, an X-Men 222, and each box is going to contain a Midtown signed with certificate of auth uh, authenticity, uh, a COA for uh, all of us comic types. Uh, there's going to be a Darkhawk 1, a Miles Morales trade and Virgin variant, and a KRS exclusive. So we are really excited about that, guys. I can't believe I I'm losing my entire paycheck in the span of two <laughs> days. Damn it. And these are going to be, there's only 25 of them. They're going to be 100 bucks each. You, you'll purchase them on scene there at, uh, at the event. So we're really excited about that. So remember, the mini con is at Everett's Resort, and we're gonna have. I'm gonna be doing a video at the resort so that you guys can see what. Can you believe that it's gonna be at Everett's Resort? I mean, if this isn't made for me, I don't know what <laughs> way, is. Way too many places called Everett. Yeah, it's unbelievable. I know. It, it's crazy. I, I, my God, who knew? Who knew that? Guys, I'm so excited for this. I really wanted to share that with you guys. So please support us that weekend. Whether you're watching us on the live feed on Instagram on YouTube. Uh, wherever we want. Amy and Lou are opening up um, their house to all of us and all the independent actors. So guys, please, uh, independent artists. So please check that out. You guys, please follow along and support ages as much as you possibly can. So man, that's exciting, dude. That's really, really what I wanted to share. So, all right. All right. So what you got? I, I got, got a, a mystery things. box. Yeah, I got a mystery box, but you know what, dude, I've been box heroes hit a dud lately, man. I hate to say that. Yeah. My, my last one was, uh, my last one wasn't spectacular. I was glad I know, that huh? I was glad we weren't going to be live anytime soon. So it was one of the ones I just opened. All right. So yeah, and I saw that our boy. Um, uh, I saw our boy Mr. Um, Walkers. Mr. Walkers hit a dud with three of them. So I'm just going to crack these open. I bought two. I'm subscribed to two. I get two a month. You know, I think they're fine. So first thing I'm going to start showing is what I pulled out of this. So the first one is the uh, no way the Everett Arena, the Everett Restaurant. This is the Otto Schmidt variant mm. <laughs> for I Eternals got, number one. Yeah, I got that one too. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, I noticed it was a lot of doubles, but Otto Schmidt Rogers. So now you got a book by Otto. My God. All right. All right. Next book I got out of that <laughs> was special. All right. Web of Spider Man 71. Yeah, okay. Next book uh, X Men 287. Okay, good book. I need it. Better grade than what I have. Um, yeah, so far not doing so hot here. Let's see. Uh, Action Comics 22. Raji, seems familiar to you? No. No? Okay. Walking Dead 1. Is that the anniversary? Is this is the anniversary? The, Ty the Tyree special? Yeah. All right. Um, next one. JLA 1. Yeah, this, this is kind of lame right here. Tough right? one, yeah. I oh Iron Jaw. I do like Atlas Comics. This is this is not worth the price of the box, but I do collect the Atlas Comics stuff, Iron Jaw. And that's in nice shape. That's a good one. All right. Um, what do we got here? Green Arrow, Black Canary. Yeah. And then oh my God. 
I don't. Even, I've got a winner. I've got. I don't know how to do this. I, does that say winner? Yes. yes. All right. So my winner is. Oh, all right. The, there we nice. go. That's the winner. That's the winner. Peter Parker. Well, Roger, weren't you weren't you all over this book? Weren't no, you that's this book? no. I, I thought was the no. first appearance of. It's uh, not. Uh, it's a, it's a cover swipe of ASM three yeah. one thirty four. So Peter Parker, the spectacular Spider Man. That's number spectacular Spider Man number one. That's not yeah. the first appearance of Tarantula. No, it's not. First appearance but, of Tarantula is the second appearance of. Uh, oh, the Punisher. Of the yeah. Punisher one thirty four. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right. All right. So, so, so how's, that a, how's that a winner? Well, I don't know. I'd like to think of a winner. Got like hose, Davey. Hey, he got excited. He got excited. Yeah. He had a winner. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I got the David Johnson subscriber book, Jupiter's Legacy. Ooh, boy. All right. Big, Not too big, good. Big Johnson. Yeah. All right. I wasn't a winner there at all. Okay. That was terrible. Raj, can you highlight me, though? Because I was a winner with this. I don't so want to show it. Why did you take so long to tell me to highlight you? Well, that's okay. But listen. You, I, you know, highlight this guy, man. <laughs> Right, here we go. Here is the winner. Look at these uh, birthday balloons all over the place. All right. Here is the winner right here. I won this a week ago. I've been dying to show you guys. Shout out to my boy, Erod212. I thought you had been... two box heroes. I do. I don't want to open one. That was depressing. Okay. And then you poo pooed it. You said I'm a winner, but I really well, I mean, not, so. it's just because they tell you in a winner doesn't mean you're a winner. Oh, that's what mom, my mother used to Mom told me. Yeah, right. Mom told you you're a winner all the time. What the yeah. hell does that mean? So I'm not. She, she has to say. Yeah, I don't. I don't call him so, says he's a winner every morning in the mirror. I do, I do, I says, do. You're, you're a winner. Myself. You're yeah. a winner, and God damn it, people like you. That's right, and that's right. <laughs> Whether they believe it or not. So listen, so Erod was running a big boy ASM book. That's a good point right here, Wookie Fodder. What do you say? Still better than a torpedo box. Oh, uh, yeah, facts. Sorry Still better it. than feet, too. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's true. So Erod was on a raffle, 22 spots, uh, 100 bucks a spot, and... You know, that's kind of a big raffle, but Erod could handle it with no problem. But I was like, you know what? Erod has been so great to the community. He's just such a great guy. I've been so lucky with him that I bought a $100 spot, um, spot one, and then I hit a couple of minis. So 22 spots, and I was able to um, – so I had three spots out of 22. And Jody he, Man Jean in the house. Yeah, I saw that. JoJo's in the hey, house. Hey, Jody. Yeah, we got John Ferreira too. You see Johnny Boy in the oh, house? I didn't see him in there. Oh, Johnny's Where's in John? there too. Yeah, John's in there. He's supposed to point that stuff out, man. Oh, Jesus. Well, you know, all right. All right. So, 22 spots. I took spot one. I paid for it flat out. And it was really just because I wanted, well, I wanted the book. And I wanted, because, but I already had it. And I really wanted to support Erod on this because, like I said, Erod is such a great guy in the community with everything that he does. And then I'm watching the raffle. I'm at I'm at my day job. And then I look at it. And sure enough, I forgot how many rolls it is. And I won. So here's what I won. Whoa. Nice. Okay. An ASM 50 6.0. Awesome. Uh, with the Spider-Man label. So I was able to win this. And I had a 5.5, five, which I was able to sell. Um, and I'll tell you all about that in a later video. So I might not have won Box Heroes, but I won this. Yeah, you okay? did. So there we go. You've been killing the, you've been killing the raffles lately. I have, I have. But that's my luck for a year, you guys. Yeah, so now I'm stop. done. I'm going to stop. Stop playing rap. Has uh, Jose in. from Spidey Stumbler stopped uh, entering? Is that why other people are well, I haven't out? seen him lately. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Vancouver, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So this is a nice, clean book. I'm sure Erod pressed it. BCJ this is, is going to give me the 5 0 since he has a 6 0 now. No, that's already been sold, Rod. Trust me. That uh, was sold before I even got this. Um, so, yeah. So I got it. Spidey label, pretty happy. This is definitely saying in a PC. Some people like to be asked, like, you know. <laughs> it's a clean, clean <laughs> book. All right. So. Uh, Although Boxed Heroes says I wasn't a winner, I was a winner again. Now, when you talk about numbers, right? Because I'm so potso in the head. Are you showing something else now? Yes, I want something else. Can oh, I show sorry. something else? Yeah, I just wanted to highlight you. <laughs> yeah, all right. Jesus. So I want something else. So. So full of shit, you know that? This was run by our boy MTG Comics. Oh, I hate you. Big fan of MTG. Yeah. Um, now, this was a unique raffle. This was only eight spots, okay? Which I thought was pretty unique. And when's Otto's birthday? June 8th. So 8 is one of Otto's lucky numbers, okay? Um, and not only win with it. <laughs> <You're a> funny <laughs> guy. Everywhere he goes. Number 8, when the kid was born. That's yeah, my lucky number. Was born, that's it. 8 never comes up. 8 never comes up. <laughs> but, it's, but when I see the patterns of numbers, 
I'm like, all right, something's up with that because I just started seeing it. So it was the book was graded at an 8.0 also. So now it's talking to me. June 8th, 8.0 and eight spots. So I jumped in it and I can't tell you how much it was a spot. It was really expensive. I hit a mini and the mini spot that I hit was guess what number? Eight. Eight. So then what number did I take in the raffle? Eight. Eight. And then I won this. Oh. Holy cow, an 8.0. Yeah. So if nice. you're not telling me that eights don't bop around, I don't know it. So 8.0, off white to white, werewolf by night 32. Um, very happy to have this in a PC. This is not going anywhere. Agent VCJ said he would cut my head off if I ever decided to move this. Um, <laughs> I actually, after I won this, I ran up to Roger and hugged him in the middle of like yeah. a lacrosse game. Yeah, like, we were at the lacrosse tailgating. Yeah. He came over and hugged me, and everybody was like, What the hell was that all about? Yeah. yeah like, I, dude, I just want a big book. I, think, I just want I think, a big book. I think he's falling for me, is what I told them. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> so the number eight shows up four times, and shout out to uh you know Erod and um MTG Comics for running great things. So yeah, that's it. But Gene, I am done. I can't win anything else. So I'm not even gonna open up my second box heroes. I'll wait for that. Those are my winnings. I I, I don't know. You know, you, you get lucky once in a while. So yeah. Um, that was it. And I, oh, look at that, Tivo. All what right. You got so, it, Dave. Yeah. Dave, you got something to show? Yeah, I got some stuff I, I can show you. All right, let's do it. Let's go. Well, some of the uh, this week's for my pull list this is the Nightwing. I just think the uh, the cover on it is pretty cool. Oh uh, yeah. Like a, oh, that's very cool. Very retro. I love it. I love oh, it. Yeah, like the uh, the Batman '66. So, yeah, '66, and it's all the different. You know, start off with Robin, and works his way up. Um, and this is one I've been reading, the Batman uh, Detective. Oh yeah, I've been reading it Just as like well. That. You like it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm enjoying that. And then, did you, did you read it yet? I didn't read this issue now. Oh. And then I got this uh, Web of Spider Man. I don't know anybody who's in Disneyland. I know uh, T will just said he's going to be going to this tomorrow. It's uh, the covers about, I don't know, in Disneyland and California Adventure, they got uh, Av Avengers Campus opening up. They just opened up the other day. Yeah. So w one of the rides is this web of Spider Man. Is that the one that they showed a video of the guy flying in the air? Yeah, actually, if you see, let's see it right there is the uh, animatronic of Spider Man. Yeah. So. That's pretty cool. I'd love to go to uh, love to go there. So that's why I saw it. You, pick, you picked that up at at Arts? No, I got this at Boom Tube. Even I didn't better. see it at Arts. Even better. <laughs> and then I got a, a few books here that on Monday, um, my daughter, who's just finished her junior year in high school. She's looking at colleges now. So one of the colleges she's looking at is called Clark University, which is in Worcester, Mass., which is probably about an hour and a half away from from uh, from us. You got to say it and, like this. Uh, Worcester. 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 Yeah. I told her, I, said, I don't know how to say it, so you can't go to the school in the town I can't say. <laughs> um, but anyway, so as we're driving up, I said, hey, Emily, take a look and see if there's any comic shops uh, near the college. Good parenting. So she found a place. was like a less than two miles away. It's called That's Entertainment. And I don't know if some of these guys, Chinmo or I don't know if Benny Beans is in the chat, um, if they're familiar with uh, That's Entertainment. But it was a it was like a big warehouse. It reminded me of Sarge's Comics. They had tons of long boxes. They had tons of Pokemon cards. They were even selling used video games, uh, action figures. I mean, they had, they had a ton of stuff. Um, so I just picked up some, you know, still just trying to fill in my uh, – Spectacular Spider-Man run. Nice. But, you know, nothing, nothing major, just uh, filling in the gaps. And Pause. The, uh, yeah. Nice. Uh, Dave, you said it was pretty unique about how they had their key books. Like, they yeah. were, like, copies. Yeah, so in their long boxes, if there was a key book, a, a, a bigger price book, which I did buy one, they didn't have their like expensive books like behind the counter on the wall. What they did was they took photocopies of the book, bagged and boarded so it just fit right in with the long boxes, 
And so if you saw a book you liked, there was a price on it. And it said, um, you know, again, it was photocopied. And it said, bring it, if you're interested in this book, bring it up to the counter and it's behind the counter. So great way to do it because I'm finding all these books, you know, that were, you may not find it in a comic shop because they might have them hidden somewhere, you know, where you, Chimmo you're not even sure the biggest store in Mass. Uh, okay. I thought it was, I thought it was really cool. I don't know if it's a, you know, go-to every week or anything, but I liked it. Uh, but anyway, what I picked up, this is one I would, I've been looking for. Oh, nice. Taste tool. Oh, there you go. That's a nice book. Let me get it out of the, uh. It's probably a mid-grade book, but it's uh, Tales to Astonish uh, 101, which I don't know if you, I don't know if you know this, Roger. You probably don't know this. The Hulk, the original Hulk series. <laughs> I'm gonna bounce you the fuck out of this. That was a good dig. That was a good uh, dig. Uh, very subtle. Bounce you right out of this fucking broadcast. Man. <laughs> well, I like to teach the little brother something once in a while. Yeah, really. Remember, it's, um, it's, it's Dave's LCS, not Roger's. That's right. That's right. <laughs> a- anyway. Uh, the, the original Hulk series only lasted six issues. I did so know it got that. canceled after the sixth issue. Huh? I did know that. You it did? was it was uh, Otto's trivia question last time we did trivia. Okay. Ah, okay. So, but so Hulk was kind of didn't have a title, but every once in a while he'd end up in Tales to Astonish, and I think it was issue fifty nine or sixty, where it became a split issue where Hulk was in every issue from that that point on. And then 101 is the final issue of Tales to Astonish. And then they picked it back up with the uh, Hulk series again. So the Hulk series goes from six, and then the next issue is 102. So this is 101, and then the, the next Hulk issue is 102. Nice. Cool. Which uh, I got that one too, by the way. Not the other day, but I just happened to have it already. Nice. But my last book is a big book. And I blame Roger 100% for this book. Well, hold on a second. Let's talk I, about the blaming. So I, I know this, what it is. Okay. I this, must know what it is. This blaming goes deep, right? <laughs> so when when you listen to Three Men in the Basement, when we say we blame people, it's because somebody either showed something which caused somebody to buy something or whatever. And I want to say, I blame Short Box Bernie for six years bringing me back into collecting over this. So this, all of this, is short box burning. Everett, I blame you for having 30 short boxes full of comics. I don't want to hear it. Okay, there we go. (laughs) Yes, right. Taking you to your first con. So now we have, so this blame gets passed on. So when you hear us play the blame game, as short box burning just said, this is deep in three MIB lore. So I, 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 I put my guess in the private chat. You tell me if I get it right. Okay. All right. Let's see. All right, Dave, show us. Wait, let me see what's. Uh, let me see. Well, what I know, but you're gonna. You don't say yes until you show it. I won't say yes because it isn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that was very anticlimactic. So, <laughs> well, no. When you see this, you'll. Oh. So. It is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have all the other. The first. This issue predates. The uh, Spider-Man 252 and amazing yeah. uh, the, to team right. up for the first appearance of the black suit. Um, I have all the other all the other issues in the 9.8. So Roger had been looking for 9.8 because he wanted to complete his 9.8 series. So I'm like, hey, wait a minute, I gotta complete mine too. <laughs> so, <laughs> and you know, because of our interview with Jim Shooter, that they colored the costume the wrong color. Yeah, point. so yeah, that's what I was gonna say. If you haven't seen, if you go back to one of the three uh, three men in a basement videos of uh, the interview with John Sh- uh, Jim Shooter with uh, Ever and Roger did, he did a great inv- interview with Jim Shooter, and he explains all about the um, how he confirmed this is the this predates all the other issues with the the black costume. Yeah, um, but that's this I, I picked up I, I picked this up on eBay last week. There was one. I, there was one I was watching. And you know how if you're watching it, they they'll send you a, an offer. You know, of like, course, it's they'll, unbelievable. They'll discounted it's off. Happened. Yeah, that's so why the guy I bought discounted. It. Yeah, this this guy discounted it, and I was um, it was still a little higher than I wanted to pay because I knew Roger paid. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have to do it better or at least the same as whatever he paid. <laughs> no competition between brothers. No, not no, at all. not at all. No, no. So in the meantime, there was another auction going on for one of these, and it was like two or three hundred dollars cheaper, but it was. I mean, still had like three days left on it. 
So I'm just kind of watching it, see where it goes. Well, you know how auctions go. Like in the last half hour, the thing shot up by like three hundred dollars, and this and the auction ended up being like one hundred and fifty more than what this guy had offered it to me. So as soon as I saw that thing, as soon as that eBay auction uh, ended, I accepted his offer. I'm like, really? I'm, <laughs> I'm like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna grab it because uh, it's a good move because it's I, not going down. Yeah. No. No, That's and and the book. end of the auction went. It was like one hundred and fifty dollars more, and I'm like, why aren't anybody? Because the even his buy it now was cheaper than that, you know. So people get caught up in trying to beat other people in the auctions. That's what happened. Yeah. So. Right. That's that it. Book unless, you wanna see, unless you want to see, unless you want to see, unless you want to see my uh, auction win for the the your swap. Oh, there you the go. You went out of the swap. auction. All right. Yeah. That's a nice, that yeah, was a good book. Uh, I tried to go after that. You got that right out from under me, Dave. Hey, yeah. you got the other book you were looking for. So. I, I did, I did, I did, but that's okay. But that's Come on, good. Sure, sure you got that, you got that in the raffle, you mean? Yeah, the raffle. What did I say? Uh, auction. Auction. Oh, I meant, okay. I'm, I'm sorry, I meant the raffle. Yep. Nice. So, yeah. So, so thanks, Raj. So, not, so you completed it, but mine isn't complete anymore, right? Everybody knows I had to sell that 252. Oh, yeah, that's right. Guess what I bought today? The 252. <laughs> did you really? I had I had to whoa see Dave. oh my god see it did uh, go. you know, that was an Irish goodbye if yeah, I've ever, ever seen one. all right uh, yeah I mean the guy was offering I made an offer and he came back and it was only like three hundred bucks only three hundred bucks more than what I sold mine for so I had to jump wait on it. wait I, I I missed that it, 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 it was coming down yeah it was, came down and and I offered made an offer and he counter offered it was only like three hundred bucks more than what I sold mine for so I jumped on it. Oh, Everybody nice. else was like a lot more, so uh, very happy. <laughs> Good for you. You've been after that for a while. That's a great thing to have. Yeah, but I'll tell I, you though, that Marvel Age. Ever though. since I ever since I sold it, I regret it. I know. Yeah, the, I, I stepped in it with that Marvel Age. I mean, we were having dinner in New Hampshire. Yes, and I'm like, so funny. I made the guy a crazy offer, and he counter offered. I'm like Dave. I was just watching it, and he <laughs> made me. A, he made me an offer like three hundred dollars less than he was asking for. It was yeah. like five hundred dollars less than everybody else. Dude, we're at a con with thousands of books a quarter of a mile from us. <laughs> yeah, and he's and on eBay. Buffalo Wild Wings on eBay. <laughs> Do you remember when we with Short Fox Birdie and the three of us went to that awful show in Massachusetts? Pat didn't buy anything, and then we went to that restaurant and he started buying stuff on eBay. On eBay, because, yeah. Yeah, he's like, because I gotta buy something today. You guys are all spending all this money. Yeah. Oh my god. This that one where so he told fun. me to bid on something and then I was gonna have to be on the hook to buy it. Yeah, oh yeah. That was a good one. That was a good one. Oh my god! Holy All right. Wasn't that when you guys? Wasn't that when you guys emptied out the uh, Buffalo Wild Wings? Uh, uh, what was it you guys were drinking? They Tito's. Were all, yeah, Roger and I. The Tito's. Yeah, you guys cleaned them out of Tito's. <laughs> yeah. We were like the second day. Like we're all this out. Seems to be an issue. <laughs> Oh, it's yeah. a slide with the sliders yesterday. They were out of Tito's. You see, that's what happens when you go there too much. My God. Oh, my God. We have right. a lot of people joining us. So, so what's up, we, Rod? What's so next? We, uh, that's it, right? We, that's all we got to show. So yep. uh, so this is what we're going to do, guys. We're going we're gonna to duck, duck out of this stream uh, just, to, just to break it up. We're going to take five minutes to use the bathroom, refresh our drinks. Then we're going to come back. You're going to want to come back because I have – Something special for Evan for his birthday. Oh man! Um, it's it's you know it's a little thing I'm gonna play. Excuse me. You don't want to miss it. There's a lot of funny stuff. There's a lot of cool stuff. A lot of heartfelt stuff. And uh, it, it is a little long. So you know if you, it's it's about 20 minutes long. So but we're gonna as soon as we come back we're gonna say hello. Wait a minute or so to let people back on, and then I'm gonna play it. And we're uh, you're gonna sit back and watch it. And I think it's pretty cool. And um, and uh, I had a lot of help with it from uh, people, not only in the community, uh, but from throughout Everett's life. So, with that said, let's uh, we're gonna end this stream here, guys. And uh, there's another one on YouTube, um, ready to rock and roll. Um, with a you know, thumbnail, it even says nine o'clock or eight forty-five or whatever. So, uh, thanks everybody for sticking around with us. All the super chats and everything. Oh, right away, JC Streets, thank you, JC Streets. We appreciate you. And we're going to um, duck out of here and see you guys in about five minutes, all right? All right, let's do it. All right. All right.